You all know that the modern day dating scene is an absolute hellscape. You have men who are lonely, women who are lonely, men who are joining MGTOW, women who are going to the 4B movement, incels, femcels, red pillars, whatever the hell Pearl is. There's a lot going on when it goes to dating and none of it is great. So today I figured we'd have a little fun with this and watch one of the dating shows that's really popular on the internet called The Button. And this time we're gonna see if it's more efficient to date two guys at once. Is this girl gonna find more success just getting two men out of the way or is this going to be an absolute flop failure. Let's watch. Before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe and you never know, maybe your soulmate is clicking those two buttons too. <laughs> what a lame way to get people to like and subscribe. Anyways, let's watch the video. What are your hobbies? I like to weight lift, hike. How about you guys? We actually like to go out and do karaoke a lot. Oh, you have something for you. Actually. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. ready. All right, ready? One, two, three. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink. Damn, she slammed that button. You know what, I've never met a group of guy friends that likes to go out and do karaoke a lot. <laughs> guys, is this the thing that you're doing? Are you guys like on a Saturday night going and hitting up a karaoke bar? Let me know. Honestly, I'd have folded. I'm, I'm into that. Not because I'm into either of these guys in particular, just that I think it's endearing that you're going to do something that is kind of a little bit embarrassing and you kind of practiced it and put it together and you're not afraid of being embarrassed in that way. I'm, I'm all for the, the karaoke boy best friends. <laughs> Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show where you get to reject your date straight to their face. So in this episode, we're having a single lady get to date not one, but two best friends at the same time. You guys coordinated, huh? Not on purpose, <laughs> even. No way. Will she realize two is better than one? Let's find out. I feel like that is so awkward to date two guys at the same time. What if you're way more interested in one of them than the other? How do you manage that whole situation? I guess these guys are friends with one another, so they're kind of like, okay, they'll both function as wingmen for the other. I don't know. I, I could barely go on one date with one individual, let alone dating two guys at the same time. You guys let me know if you're uh, somehow into that. I know polyamory is a hot thing these days. There's a lot of thruples running around. If you're in a thruple, let me know about that experience in the comments down below, but do so in a way that's wholesome, okay? Well, hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Anahita. Anahita, what are you doing cool here name. today? I am dating best friends. You're dating best friends, have you ever done this before? I have not, and never two people in one room. What are you looking for? I want somebody who can just banter with me well, like has a good sense of humor and just aligning on values. All right, let's bring in our first group. Hello. <laughs> Imagine she's like, yeah, I date best friends all the time. I actually only exclusively date guys who are uh, best friends with one another. What a messy young woman that would be. I can only imagine the amount of drama and fighting that would ensue with girls dating two best friends. <laughs> okay, what are your names? Perrin. Perrin. I'm Faraz. Okay, I'm Anahita. Perrin. Nice to Anahita. meet you. Yes. I like it. Where's Thank that name you. from? It's Iranian. Oh, no. okay. You, you do guys, Farsi? I do. I do. I just. Oh. <laughs> it's just like shocking when people know the language. <laughs> My ex oh, yeah. was Persian. Oh, so you got a thing for Persians. I don't see race, you know? Mm. I got like x ray vision. I only see what's on the inside. Can you How long have you two been best friends? Green flag. He's racially colorblind. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's not saying that he actually doesn't see race. He's just saying, you know what? I'm not going to take that into account. And you know what? I already forgot what his name is, but green flag. Me and parents? Since birth. Our dads yeah. actually worked together like 20 years ago. And have you guys been friends like the whole time? There was a brief period beef? where uh, we were a little more than friends. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, I would like that to hear a good this joke. story. That's what <laughs> That was a good joke. If the button had went red too soon, I would have been like, eh, I'm so sorry. You guys are messing with each other. I don't want to enter some sort of love triangle situation right now between two guy best friends and then adding me <laughs> into that mix. That is not a dream of mine. That is a nightmare. But good joke. I'm into it. Uh, and you know, he's in, he's in touch with his uh, feminine side. I feel like if you're a guy and you can make jokes about stuff like that, you're cool. You know, you're not afraid to explore and, and make jokes about things that maybe other guys might feel a little bit sensitive about. I'm into that. You do? I am in tech. Wow. I'm a product manager. Where? Can I get a referral? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Uh, <laughs> 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 we lasted zero minutes. Bye. That's crazy. Good luck. Thanks. We were to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you think? Were they for sure not for you? Oh, yeah. Maybe <laughs> different personalities. Hi there. Uh, How are you? Good. I'm Anahita. I'm Thank Ben. You. Ben. Uh, this is my friend Lavender Gooms. Lavender you can call me David, Gooms. though. Why do we call him Lavender Gooms? <laughs> Just gives off that vibe. Bro, you know the vibe they give off? 15 year old. These boys look young. They look fresh out of high school. Mm. How old are you guys? Oh, we're 18. 18. There yeah. we go. Okay. You guys aren't in high school, right? No. No. I'm taking some college classes and getting my college license. Sorry. They don't even look fresh out of high school. They look like they are in the trenches of high school. We're looking like sophomores and juniors here. I know she had to hit that red button because they look so much younger than her. <laughs> I, they're 18. Yeah. Good time. Cradle robbing. Bye. They looked like they could be my younger brothers. Okay. I'm Chris. Valid. Chris? Yeah. Okay. I'm Rosendo. Have any of you ever been in a love triangle? No. I have been in one in uh, high school. It was my best guy friend and I. He was also like involved with another girl. Did you all know about it? Kind of. Me and the girl didn't really tell each other about what we were doing with the guy, but then the guy knew. So it was just messy. What are your hobbies? I like to oh. weightlift, hike. How about you guys? We actually are. I like to go out and do karaoke a lot. Ooh. We're karaoke <laughs> professionals. Okay, can I we hear like a little? Oh yeah, we have something for you. Actually. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. One, two, three. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink. Ooh, yeah. wow. <laughs> <clears throat> what comes after six and seven? Eight. They ate. They ate that up. <laughs> Uh, I've never been a part of a love triangle, by the way. I didn't get to answer that question. Actually, I have, and it is the Twilight series love triangle between Bella, Edward, and Jacob. And of course, I'm 100% Team Edward. That is the only correct answer. If you are anything else, drop it in the comments down below, but also know that you should probably unsubscribe. <laughs> Just kidding, but it's Team Edward. Be so for real right now. <laughs> That's crazy. How's it feel to reject two men at once? I feel bad. I feel like I don't have an answer for why. I just don't feel it. Hello. Hello. I'm not feeling it. Brandon. Nice Anahita. Kai. Kai, nice to meet you. Pitch each other as a potential partner. What are his biggest red flags, biggest green flags? You drink too much. Your... What is too much? Like every weekend, every day. <laughs> so right now it's maybe like three, times a week okay. minimum. Minimum, okay. Yeah. I only do it socially though. I'm not uh -huh. the type to wake up and take a shot by myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said three times a week? Uh-uh. If somebody was drinking three times a week, mm, it's a little bit too much for me. I don't know, just imagine that with any other like form of intoxicant. If they were doing it three times a week, I'm like, it's a little bit too much of a uh, reliance, I think, on said thing. But I'm not much of a drinker myself. You guys let me know if three times a week would be a red flag for you. It's not necessarily that much of a red flag. It's just something that would be inconsistent with my lifestyle and thus would not work for moi. Tell us about Brandon. Hmm. Red flags. He, he likes... <laughs> That's a red flag. <laughs> exactly, yeah. that's his biggest red flag. Yeah. He thinks he's I am, I am very uh, smart. I have a little fun story about Brandon. Ooh, oh, I'd gosh. love to hear it. Once Brandon was in the back of Kai's car, <laughs> hooking up with someone while he was driving. No way. I don't recall. You're drunk. What? Yeah, very. Wow. Yeah, and then she tried to kiss me afterwards. What? Okay. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Yes, good to meet you. Nice Bye. to meet you. You too. Bye. I would have had the very same reaction. You mean to tell me you were hooking up with the girl in the back of your best friend's car and then the girl tried to kiss your best friend? Who are you hanging out with? What type of mischievous activities are you guys getting up to in your free time? Is that normal? Am I just not having normal experiences and you guys are all out there having normal experiences? Because that is not Normal. I would have been hitting the button for that, 100%. Also, Anahita, I love that she's like, she's giving us nothing. <laughs> she's like, give us nothing, girl. <laughs> but you know what, I still like her. Okay. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Yes, good to meet you. Nice Bye. to meet you. You too. Bye. Bye. You made them gasp. I know. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you guys? I'm good. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Anahita. Nice to meet you. I'm Mikey. Mikey. Sean. Sean. What type of things are you into? Um, I like to be active. I've been nice. getting to pickleball. Oh, nice. Walks. Okay. You a pickleballer? I see that face. Nah, that's just... <laughs> oh, that's, that's a con, huh? <laughs> that ain't no con. That's just... It's fitting. Explain that. 
the hair. Really? Whoa. Curly redheads are into pickleball? I found that. The man in the hoodie is giving off very weird energy. Also, why are you showing up to a dating show with a pick in your hair and like messing with the pick in the hair already? Like clearly he's not interested in being here. I feel like he got dragged by his best friend to do this experience and he's just going to show up and show out. He already just Loki insulted the girl. So I can tell he does not want to be in whatever situation this is in. And maybe his friend kind of dragged him along to be kind of true in my opinion. Really? I have a fun fact about Mikey. Oh, God. Mikey here. once accidentally texted his mom when he actually meant to text someone he was seeing at the time. And what did that text say? You about to say what you said on the, oh, you wild. It was, it was, it was spicy. <laughs> I was trying to get some and the message went to the wrong person. Oh, no. It's not something I'm proud of at all. How did your mom respond? She busted in a room, cussed me out and said, you're nasty and don't ever text me again. <laughs> oh. That was pretty much that. So he was living with his mom at the time and sending a freaky text girlfriend and accidentally sent them to his mom that is mortifying you would not be able to waterboard that information out of me you couldn't chinese water torture that information out of me you couldn't pull my fingernails off the nail beds and get that information out of me between you two who has more game who pulls more oh me yeah. I mean, I would go agree. outside. I would say me, but I go out more. You yeah, I go, go outside, outside of that. Not a lot. I don't, I don't go outside a lot. You party? Not necessarily party. Okay. Like maybe <laughs> bar hop or something. Thank like you. Thank you. Sex with a lot of people. Oh. Huh? <laughs> can I can I ask your body count? Oh damn. Who has a higher body count? <laughs> me. Good like 12, 15, somewhere around there. Yeah, I'm and you're less than that. Two hundred a year. Between the two of them, who do you find more attractive? Um. <laughs> hey, no, no hard feelings. <laughs> Uh, All right, uh -oh. good to why? meet you guys. Why? Well, yeah, why, why did you press the button? I got the vibe from you. For you're sure. mature, you're cool. For sure. I didn't really talk to him that much, I don't think. We didn't vibe that <laughs> crazy. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, funnily enough, I, you know, I, I fancy myself a little watcher of body language. I feel like she's definitely way more interested in the guy on the left who is at, not at all interested in her and like kind of awkward and weird and doesn't want to be in the situation. And then the guy on the right is kind of vibing with her, but she's not into him. And uh, she probably was a little bit disappointed by that. But you can tell she is attracted to that man on the left. You can tell. Hi. You have a good one. See ya. Oh, he just gave her the ho the homie dap. You see how hard he just dapped her hand like she was a full man. <laughs> if a man is treating you like just a boy, it's probably not the best sign. He didn't really not care to be there at, at all. That was the hardest dap I've ever seen a man <laughs> give give a woman. How you doing? I'm good. Are you exhausted yet? Kind of. <laughs> this would be exhausting. Hi. Hi. I'm Jacob. Anahita. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Jacob. Cabret, nice Cabret. to meet you. Cabret. You guys coordinated, huh? Not on purpose, <laughs> even. No way. Okay. We, we live together, we, so yeah. we woke oh. up. They yeah. share clothes. Yeah. We, we do share clothes. clothes. No <laughs> way. <laughs> How did, you didn't, we didn't tell you that. Have you two ever been intimate with the same girl? Oh. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> have you guys ever kissed? We have not, we have not kissed. Mm. No. You kissed a man. Two days ago, though. <laughs> you kissed a guy two days ago? I kissed a man two days okay. ago. Okay. Whoa. A good friend. Are you all attracted? Chat, are you guys kissing boys? Is this boys will be boys? <laughs> you guys just get together and kiss good friends of yours? You know what? I... I I don't know what I was going to say. I'm, I'm trying to think of an instance where I'm like, yeah, I, would, I don't mind. Like, if you've got a really good bro and y'all... <laughs> Y'all share a kiss. <laughs> is there a platonic way for boys to kiss? And if so, is that what you boys are doing with the homies? Are you kissing your homies? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know down below. I think Myron Gaines would call that uh, boys just being boys. Uh, that's what he seems to do with his homies. But you guys have to let me know if this is, is this commonplace among men. <laughs> Uh, like physically? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're great. You're very pretty. Yeah, thank you. And your bread's very handsome. <laughs> you're also pretty. Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> Do you find these two gentlemen attractive? 
Mm, I'd say you're probably more my type. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Wait, how old are you guys? I'm 20. I'm also 20. Yeah. Light up Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's slamming. Sorry, guys. I just feel like I don't date people younger than me that often. But you guys are cool. Well, thanks. Yeah. Good. Yeah, they were way more her vibe. I feel like that one, that, we had the opportunity for something to really go well there. There was something going on there. Also, another question for the men, uh, aside from are you guys kissing your homies in your free time, do you think it'd be better to go on a first date with your best friend? I feel like it would kind of have like a little built-in comfort aspect where you've got a built-in wingman, unless you're both attracted to the girl, because that's not going to work. Then it becomes, you know, kind of, kind of competitive and weird. But it might be cool to go on a date with your <laughs> best friend at some point. I don't recommend that you tell ladies or offer to ladies that your best friend go on the date. Uh, but, you know, a cool little double date situation where you guys can make things comfortable and tell jokes and wingman off one another. That might be kind of cool. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank Bye. you. Kyle, nice to meet you. Kyle, Anahita. Nice to meet you, Anahita. Avery. Avery, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Oh, they Avery. both once had a crush on the same person. Ooh, when? Oh, when we first we, were, we met at work, mm -hmm. she happened to be work-related mm -hmm. without going into specifics. It went really bad Yeah. because she didn't like either of us. Both mm -hmm. took an L, but. It is what it is. Were you guys like beefing during this time? No, like, we, that girl. We or? became like best friends. We like, became really? super close. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys bonded over this. Definitely. Yeah. Dang. Between you two, who do you think is the better lover? I Definitely me. Oh, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say me. I'm just a lot more uh, romantic than you are. Why? Do you I'm a lot say more that? passionate. My first date would be like watching the sunset at the park, mm. glass of wine, blanket. Maybe a couple snacks. That is my vibe. You know? I, I like, yes, sunsets. It's Vibes. funny because I said date. the exact same thing five minutes before we walked in here. <laughs> no, you <laughs> didn't. Okay, both of you are taking me on a date. What are we doing? I'm really big into uh, coffee. I'm a huge me too. coffee guy. Oh, perfect. I love so coffee. I'll meet yeah. that. So I like to play barista at home so I can make you like an oat milk latte from home. Avery, he's really impressing her right now. Yes. <laughs> go, go, I was go, a barista in go college. On. Oh, so. I was a barista Ooh. for eight months. Between uh, you two. Oh my gosh. I. You can tell she's interested, clearly. Maybe in both of them but definitely in the guy on the left and it's so interesting because she's jumping at the similarities and their similarities are like we both like coffee in sunsets just the most <laughs> basic shit you could possibly be interested in it's uh it's that's amazing yeah i don't know uh it's like being like oh you know i i like when it rains oh my gosh i i love when it rains i love when it's sunny outside oh my gosh me too. I, I fucking love the sun. We're so, we're so compatible. <laughs> Who's the more jealous one? Right now? Me? Because <laughs> Kyle's getting all the, Kyle's getting all the attention over here. I like, clearly like, I could just kind of sit off to the side and let you guys have a conversation if you want. Oh no, don't so do that. So are you that. more social then and you're the more shy one? It's or... really funny because usually it's the exact opposite. Really? I want you to pitch yourselves. Tell her why she should go on a date with you. I'm organized, I'm timely, I over-communicate, mm -hmm. I like to have a good time, mm -hmm. I like to try new things. Mm -hmm. One big thing about me is like I've never found a food I didn't like, mm -hmm. like not one. Ooh, okay. So like we could try new foods always. Mm -hmm. I'm spontaneous, mm -hmm. I just like doing just everything. I'm not picky at all, mm -hmm. as I said with the food, but also just in general. Very so, low maintenance. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna light up one more time. Did she just say yeah, smash? <laughs> If that's what she said, that is the wildest, most audacious thing to say. <laughs> yeah, smash. <laughs> to an answer that a guy gives you. I hope that is actually what she said, because that it would be so funny if that's truly what just came out of her mouth. You have a choice. You could go on this date with both of them, or you could reject one of them right now. All right? Ooh, is she going to choose both? Yeah. <laughs> She said both. Give me both. Yay. Congratulations. Let's go. Sweet. Wow. <laughs> we did it. You three have won the button. Sweet. We're going to pay for a dinner and a movie. We'll have you go see Challengers. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll I keep seeing the trailer everywhere. Have fun on your date. Thanks. Yeah. All right. See challenge. Wow. So both of the guys are interested in her. They're also best friends. And now they're all three going to go out on a date. Is that something that men would do. Is that, is, is that a selling point for you guys that you can both go on a date with the same girl? I imagine one of you wins out eventually, but it seems like she was actually down to go on a date with both of them at the same time, and they are seemingly down to go on a date with her at the same time. 
It's 2024, y'all. <laughs> It's 2024. This is how relationships work. I would have guessed that you'd go into this situation and more likely not match with anybody because one of the guys you would have been compatible with and maybe not the other, and it would have sort of canceled out the situation. But she ended up with two matches. And uh, I would love to see a follow up on this entire situation, how that goes for her with these two best friends. Do they go on a romantic sunset? date together and drink some coffee who knows but there we go there you have it we finished the episode you guys will have to let me know if you would experience something like this if your guy's watching right now would you go on a date with your favorite homie with one girl <laughs> and if so how do you think that would go for the both of you who do you think would be the more successful one would you guys both be into that at the same time let me know in the comments down below keep it wholesome though. Okay guys, and if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.